Yet the way we humans live on Earth is sending it into a decline. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel with me Zeva. Yesterday I was on my phone, I was scrolling through my phone while I was on YouTube and I found out that Netflix is going to be releasing a documentary soon working together with Sir David Attenborough. I would like to make a reaction video to David Attenborough, A Life on Our Planet. I just have to make this reaction video so that my subscribers and anybody out there who found this video, you will know that this documentary exists. I mean, there are many, many documentaries that Sir David Attenborough has made. After the reaction video, I'm going to be sharing with you a few other recommended highly recommended Studio Attenborough documentaries for you to watch, but let's start with this reaction first. Stay tuned. Tonight, we've got rather different That must programs. be his younger version. I Obviously. I am David Attenborough, and I am 93. 93, bless him. By the way, I read on an article that if he didn't work as a conservationist, he said that he'll be out by 60 years old. I've had the most extraordinary life. It's only now that I appreciate so how extraordinary. The living world is a unique and spectacular marvel. Yet the way we humans live on Earth is sending it into a decline. I love how beautiful the cinematography is, the quality. Human beings have ever run the world. Never, never decreases. If you watch his documentaries, the quality is just top notch. We're replacing the wild with the tame. <laughs> this film is my witness statement and my vision for the future. The story of how we came to make this our greatest mistake. And how if we act now, we can yet put it right. I love how it's a mix of natural phenomena, natural disasters, and also natural habitats and human development. Our planet is headed for disaster. Can you imagine if there's an IMAX version to this? That would be amazing. We need to learn how to work with nature rather than against it. Okay. And I'm going to tell you how. October 4th is just in a few days. Exciting. That two minute video was short and sweet, love it. For those of you who don't know or you're not familiar with the legend that is Sir David Attenborough, so far for 68 years per 2020, the down-to-earth Sir David Attenborough has been working with the BBC in producing various high-quality, highly informative documentaries. He has inspired humanity about nature through his broadcasting. With the BBC, they have produced stunning ecology docu-series, docu-programs, and his voice has become a signature. Anybody can recognize that that voice is my witness statement and my vision for the future. Is his voice. Not everybody can do that. That's just how phenomenal he is. Since I was a little girl, I've been familiar with animal documentaries, nature documentaries, because my dad loves them. My dad loves to watch Animal Planet, Nat Geo, BBC Earth and all of that. And of course, if the dad watches it or the mother watches it, usually in the household, the kids will also know about it. And I noticed it. I grew up with it. Nowadays, you see more and more people becoming more aware and talking about environmental issues, sustainable living, sustainable business, which is great. It's a great thing to know that more people are aware about this. But to be frank, that there are also people out there who aren't really passionate about delving into the issue and spreading about these issues about environment, and they're more doing it because they're bandwagoning, they're jumping into the trend, 
into the what's in right now because just to look cool and to feel trendy and it feels good you know it's a feel good thing if you're not passionate about it if you're not serious about trying to find ways in that you can to help the environment on the other hand there is someone like sir david attenborough who has been discussing about the importance to take care of nature since 1952 and notably in the 1960s and can you imagine now in his 90s in the 2000s he's still productive you can tell somebody who is passionate and takes things seriously in what they do and what they believe in to those who are just jumping on the bandwagon what's in trend right now what has the most what gets the most funding right now which is another story <clears throat> Okay, now I would like to share with you my top recommended documentaries that Sir David Attenborough was a part of. If you haven't watched any of these yet on BBC Earth, you better do, you better do. So here is a list of my recommended Sir David Attenborough documentary series. Climate Change The Facts was released in 2019. In this series, Sir David Attenborough looked at the science of climate change and also its potential solutions. He cooperated with some of the world's leading climate scientists to explore about extreme weather conditions such as storms and also wildfires until its effects on humans and nature as a whole. Rolling back again in 2017, there is Planet Earth 2. This second series of Planet Earth by Sir David Attenborough won two BAFTAs in 2017, including Best Specialist Factual Program. This documentary is just stunning. And it took 10 years to produce, 10 years to make. It's insane. And there's a possibility that they will also produce Planet Earth 3, which will definitely take more years. I wonder how old Sir David Attenborough will be once that's released. On the same year, he also released Blue Planet 2. In this documentary, we can see a lot of breathtaking oceans, various ecosystems and its animals, and also other living organisms in their natural habitat. Back in 2015, he released The Hunt. If you want to see a bunch of carnivorous animals chasing their prey, this is it. Want to see the power of food chains in the circle of life minus us humans? This is it. The hunt shows nature's most determined, specialized, and cunning predators. And no, not child predators. To hell to them. And their equally cunning prey. Back in 2012, Sir David Attenborough released a special documentary, a trio documentary called Attenborough 60 Years in the Wild. This docu is actually a trio of spectacular films that shaped Sir David Attenborough's career. So the three films consist of three areas that shaped his career. The first is filmmaking, the second is science, and the third is environment. The first film, Life on Camera, we can see how the world has changed, the planet has changed, throughout Sir David Attenborough's career, 60 years of wildlife filmmaking. The second film, Understanding the Natural World, we will learn about scientific discoveries during his lifetime. And the third film, Fragile Planet, we will learn about how mankind has impacted nature as a whole in the last six decades. He also shared why he decided to become a conservationist. Last but not least is the 2006 Planet Earth. The original Planet Earth didn't take 10 years to make like Planet Earth 2, but it did take 3 years to make. He worked with a team of 71 cameramen that went to 206 locations across the globe in 62 countries. That's a lot. Through Planet Earth, you will see changing seasons and also daily struggles that all living beings on Earth have to face. It's amazing. There are extreme habitats out there, including our concrete jungles. Survival of the fittest. So those are my recommended Sir David Attenborough docu-series. There are of course many others that him and his team has made, but those are the highlights for me. If you haven't watched any of them, go ahead and watch them. Meanwhile, I can't wait to watch David Attenborough, A Life on Our Planet. I'll visit Netflix for this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.